this experiment we shall show simple harmonic motion using an oscillating spring. For this experiment we require a rigid support between two benches to allow certain amount of height. With this rigid support we attach a spring, a very long spring. At the end of the spring we place a carrier and the load. Under the carrier we place a distance sensor. It's a device very very similar to an echo sounder. The sensor is connected to a sensor meter. This measures distance in meters. And this is connected to a data logger. The data logger then is connected to a computer. We start the experiment by aligning the sensor below the carrier using a plumb line. It's a string with a small weight attached to the other end. The sensor sends a sound wave to bounce off the carrier and from this information the sensor can calculate the distance. We then start the experiment by pulling the carrier down and release it to oscillate. It oscillates up and down in a vertical plane. As the carrier oscillates with a very large amplitude, the sensor meter calculates the distance from the carrier to the sensor. It sends a pulse or sound waves which bounce off the carrier and from the information about the time it takes to reach the carrier and back again, the echo, this calculates the distance. Now we can open the application on the computer and the screen will show up sort of a graph paper we press record on the application and it starts recording the position of the carrier with time and the screen plots the position of the carrier showing a sine wave on the screen. The sine wave shows that the carrier is going up and down. We now stop recording and then we capture the trace on the screen. The trace looks very similar to a sine wave. We can manipulate the trace on the screen by smoothing the trace itself. And with this feature we can see that it is very very similar to a sine wave now. This is a displacement time graph for the carrier as it is oscillating. We can also choose a small portion 
or part of the trace and as a result of this we see the result of a displacement time graph.